Now let's see the next question that is question number 31. Now in this question it is written the gynoecium consists of many free pistils in flowers of option number A papaver, option number B mycelia, option number C aloe vera and option number D tomato. So what is the correct answer? In which of the following flowers the gynoecium consists of many free pistils? What do you mean by gynoecium? Gynoecium is the female part of the flower, right? So which of the following options consist of many free pistils? That is mycelia. That is in option number B. So mycelia is such flower in which the gynoecium consists of many free pistils. That is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 32. So the next question is question number 32. You can see in this question which one of the following is correctly matched. Option number A Chlamydomonas conidia. Option number B Yeast zoospores. Option number C Onion bulb. Option number D Ginger sucker. Student this is from the chapter Reproduction in Organism. So which of the following is the correct answer? That is option number C Onion bulb. So onion is a bulb which is a short underground modified stem right so this is the correct answer all right now let's see the next question that is question number 33 now the next question is question number 33 both autogamy and heterogamy are prevented in option number a castor option number b maize Option number C, papaya. Option number D, cucumber. Student, this is from the chapter Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plant. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number C, papaya. Papaya in which the male and the female flowers are present in different plant. That is the reason that they are both prevented from autogamy and getonogamy. Okay? So, that is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 34. Now in this question number 34 you can see even in absence of pollinating agents seed setting is assured in option number A salvia, option number B fig, option number C camelina, option number D zostera. This is also from the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plant. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number C that is Camelina. Now let's see the next question that is question number 35. Which one of the following areas in India is a hot spot of biodiversity? Option number A Sundarbans, option number B Western Ghats, option number C Eastern Ghats and option number D Gangetic Plan. This is from the chapter biodiversity and its conservations. The three hotspot of biodiversity in India are Sri Lanka, then Western Ghats, then Indo-Burma and Himalaya, so these are the three hotspot areas in India. Now out of this four option what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number B that is Western Ghats. So this is the correct answer for question number 35. In this question number 36 you can see which one of the following is not a functional unit of ecosystem? Option number A productivity, option number B stratification, Option number C, energy flow and option number D, decomposition. Student, this is a very easy question and it has directly come from an NCRT textbook of the chapter ecosystem. So what is the correct answer? Which of the following is not a functional unit of ecosystem? That is option number B, stratification. So that is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 37. 
In this question number 37, you can see the upright pyramid of number is absent in option number A, lake, option number B, grassland, option number C, pond and option number D, forest. This is also from the chapter ecosystem. So what is the correct answer? Which of the following do not have upright pyramid of number? That is option number D, forest because in forest the pyramid of number is inverted so this, this is the correct answer it will be inverted all right so this is the answer of this question number 37 now let's see the next question that is question number 38 now in this question number 38 you can see which one of the following is not a gaseous biochemical cycle in ecosystem option number a nitrogen cycle, option number B, carbon cycle, option number C, oxygen cycle and option number D, phosphorus cycle. Student, this is also from the chapter ecosystem. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number D, that is phosphorus cycle. It is not a gaseous biochemical cycle in ecosystem. It is a sedimentary cycle. Okay, so this is the sedimentary cycle. So this is the correct answer for this question number 38. Now let's see the next question that is question number 39. Now in this question number 39, you can see which one of the following is a wrong statement. Option number A, greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon. Option number B, eutrophication is a natural phenomenon in freshwater bodies. Option number C, most of the forests have been lost in tropical areas and option number D, ozone in upper part of the atmosphere is harmful to animals. Student, this is a very easy question. You have to find out the wrong statement among these four statements. So what is the wrong statement? The wrong statement is option number D in which it is written the ozone in upper part of the atmosphere is harmful to animals whereas it is harmful to animals, plants and other living organisms which are present on earth. So that is the wrong statement. Alright, now let's see the next question that is question number 40. In this question number 40, you can see the highest number of species in the world is represented by option number A, algae, option number B, lichens, option number C, fungi and option number D, mosses student this is also a very easy question what is the correct answer the correct answer is option number c that is fungi so this is the correct answer for this question and this fungi has the highest number of species in the world now let's see the next question that is question number 41 in this question the yeast is used in the production of option number a bread and beer Option number B, cheese and butter. Option number C, citric acid and lactic acid. Option number D, lipase and pectinase. Student, this is from the chapter Microbes in Human Welfare. So, what it is written here, yeast, that is, the scientific name of yeast is Saccharomyces. Cerevisi, right? So that is the scientific name of yeast. So yeast is used in the production of which of the following is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number A that is bread and beer. So for the production of bread and beer, yeast is used. This is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 42. Which one of the following microbes forms symbiotic association with plants and help them in their nutritional purpose. Option number A, glomus. Option number B, trichoderma. Option number C, azotobacter. And option number D, aspergillus. So student, we have to select the one which forms symbiotic association with plant and it also help them in their nutrition. So the correct answer is option number A, that is glomus. 
So, glomus forms the symbiotic association with plants and ultimately they help them in their nutrition. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 43. A single strand of nucleic acid tagged with a radioactive molecule is called option number A plasmid, option number B probe, option number C vector and option number D selectable marker. Student, this is from the chapter biotechnology principle and process. There we have got all this term. So, what is the correct answer? So, the correct answer is option number B. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 44. A patient brought to a hospital with myocardial infection is normally or immediately given option number A cyclosporin A, option number B statin, option number C penicillin and option number D streptokinase. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number D that is streptokinase. So, this is the correct answer and it is from the chapter microbes in human welfare. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 45. So, in this question number 45 you can see a nitrogen fixing microbe associated with azola in rice field is option number A Frankia, option number B Tolipotrix, option number C Spirulina and option number D Anabina. Student, this is also a very easy question. Which of the following is the correct answer? Which of the following is a nitrogen fixing microbe associated with azola in rice field? That is Anabina, which means option number D is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 46. Which one is true statement regarding DNA polymerase used in PCR? Option number A, it is isolated from a virus. Option number B, it remains active at high temperature. Option number C, it is used to ligate introduce DNA in recipient cells. And option number D, it serves as a selectable marker. Student, this is from the chapter Biotechnology, Principle and Process. So, what is the correct statement? So, which of the following statement is true regarding DNA polymerase? Option number C, it is used to ligate introduce DNA in recipient cells and option number D, it serves as a selectable marker. Student, this is from the chapter Biotechnology, Principle and Process. So, what is the correct statement? Which of the following is the true statement regarding DNA polymerase used in PCR? That is option number B, it remains active at high temperature. So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 47. Consumption of which one of the following foods can prevent the kind of blindness associated with vitamin A deficiency. Option number A, golden rice. Option number B, BT brinjal. Option number C, flavor saver tomato. And option number D, canola. Student, this is also from the unit biotechnology. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number A, that is golden rice. So, this food can prevent the kind of blindness associated with vitamin A deficiency. So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 48. Which one of the following is a case of wrong matching? Option number A, micro propagation in vitro productions of plants in large numbers. Option number B, callus. It is an unorganized mass of cells produced in tissue culture. And option number C, somatic hybridization, that is the fusion of two diverse cells. And option number D, vector DNA, that is a site for tRNA synthesis. Student, this is also from the unit biotechnology. So, what is the correct statement? See, in option number A, it is written micropropagation. 
which means in vitro production of plants in large numbers. That is a correct statement. Next is callus, which is an unorganized mass of cells produced in tissue culture. That is also a correct statement. Next, enzymatic hybridization, it means the fusion of two diverse cells. That is also a correct statement. Now in option number D, it is written vector DNA is a site for tRNA synthesis. Well, that is an incorrect statement because the vector DNA is used for cloning purpose. So, this is the incorrect statement which means option number D is wrongly matched. So, this is the correct answer for this question number 48. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 49. In this question number 49, you can see which part would be most suitable for raising virus free plants for micro propagation? Option number A, meristem. Option number B, node. Option number C, bark. And option number D, vascular tissue. So, in this question, it has asked. Which part would be most suitable for raising virus free plants for micro propagation? So, the correct option is option number A that is meristem. So, meristem is the part which would be most suitable for raising virus free plants for micro propagation. So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 50. For transformation microparticles coated with DNA to be bombarded with gene are made up of option number A silicon or platinum, option number B gold or tungsten, option number C silver or platinum, option number D platinum or zinc. Student, what is the correct answer for this question? The correct answer is option B that is gold or tungsten. This is the correct option and you will get this in the chapter biotechnology principle and process. Now, let us move on to the next question that is question number 51. The cyanobacteria are also referred to as option number A slime mold, option number B blue green algae, option number C protista and option number D golden algae. Student, this is a very easy question. So, what is the correct answer? The cyanobacteria are also referred to as blue-green algae, which is given in option number B. So, option number B, blue-green algae is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question, that is question number 52. Now, in this question number 52, you can see which one single organism or a pair of organism is correctly assigned to its or their named taxonomic group. Option number A, yeast used in making bread and beer is a fungus. Option number B, nostoc and anabina are example of protista. Option number C, paramoecium and plasmodium belong to the same kingdom as that of penicillium. Option number D, lichen is a composite organism formed from the symbiotic association of an algae and a protozoan. Student, this is from the chapter biological classification. So, what is the correct answer here? So, in this question, it has asked which one single organism or a pair of organism is correctly assigned. So, in the option number A, you can see yeast used in making bread and beer is a fungus. That is a correct statement. Next, in option number B, you can see nostoc and anabina are example of protista. That is a incorrect statement. Next, option number C, paramoecium and plasmodium belong to the same kingdom as that of penicillium. That is also an incorrect statement. And the last one is lichen is a composite organism formed from the symbiotic association of an algae and a protozoan. That is also an incorrect statement, which means option number A is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question 
that is question number 53 now in this question number 53 you can see in which one of the following the genus name its two characters and its phylum are not correctly matched whereas the remaining three are correct now let's find out what are the options that are given you can see in this option number a it is given the genus name cycon then they have two characteristic that is pore bearing canal system and they belong to phylum porifera that is the correct statement next option number b periplaneta and their characters like jointed appendages chitinous exoskeleton and they belong to phylum arthropoda next in option number c you can see pila their characters are body segmented mouth with radula and they belong to phylum mollusca student in chapter animal kingdom we have discussed that pila do not possess segmented body so this statement is incorrect statement so the body is non segmented right so it is the incorrect option whereas in option number d you can see asterius they have two characteristic spiny skin and they are water vascular system and they belong to echinodermata that is also a correct statement so out of this four option option number c is the incorrect one so option number c is the correct answer for this question now let's see the next question that is question number 54 in this question number 54 you can see select the correct statement from the following regarding cell membrane option number a lipids are arranged in a bilayer with polar heads towards the inner part option number b fluid mosaic model of cell membrane was proposed by singer and nicholson option number c sodium and potassium ions move across cell membrane by passive transport and option number d proteins make up 60 to 70% of the cell membrane student we have discussed about fluid mosaic model in the chapter cell the unit of life so what is the correct statement from this four option the correct statement is option number b which says fluid mosaic model of cell membrane was proposed by singer and nicholson now let's move to the next question that is question number 55 in this question number 55 you can see given below is the representation of a certain event at a particular stage of a type of cell division which is this stage student you can see this diagram this is from the chapter cell cycle and cell division now let's see what are the options given for this question so in the option number a it is written prophase of mitosis option number b both prophase and metaphase of mitosis option number c prophase 1 during meiosis and option number d prophase 2 during meiosis so student what is the correct answer which of the following is the correct answer option number c prophase 1 during meiosis so this is the correct answer now let's see the next question which one out of a to d given below correctly represent structural formula of the basic amino acid student you can see all the structure of amino acid we have also got in the chapter biomolecule so out of this four structure which is the basic amino acid that is given in option number d because the option number d is lysine and the lysine is the basic amino acid so option number d is the correct answer for this question now let's move on to the next question that is question number 57 what is true about ribosomes option number a these are found only in eukaryotic cells option number b these are self splicing introns of some rnas option number c the prokaryotic ribosomes are ats where s stands for sedimentation coefficient and option number d these are composed of ribonucleic acid and proteins student 
in the chapter cell the unit of life we have discussed about ribosome so which of the following is true about ribosome that is option number d the ribosomes are composed of ribonucleic acid and protein so this is the correct answer whereas rest of the three options are incorrect one so option number d is the correct answer for this question